everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is 8am, I'm up bright and early because of I need to leave soon, because of I am going to London, I am so excited, I'm going for two days, one night with my dad, and I was meant to do this for my birthday but there were train strikes which means we couldn't have gone, so instead we're going two days after my birthday. I'm literally so excited, I've been wanting to do this trip for a few years now. This is the first vlog of day one and in my next video will be the second vlog of day two. I have been to London a few times in the past. The last time I properly done London, I was younger so I don't really remember it. The last time I went to London was in September but that was for a class trip to a art gallery so we literally got off the train, walked to the art gallery and went there so I've never done like the proper London experience, I have not seen like Buckingham Palace, Big Ben or any of that before and to be fair I don't live too far away from London either surprisingly like I have not really properly done London so I'm so excited to finally be going, it's off my travel bucket list and some of the places I'm going to be visiting I'm so excited because they look so cool there so I can't wait to share it with you guys everything I'm bringing I managed to fit in this backpack here it has a little bit of space left which is good but I feel like that's still going to end up filling up when I bring like my water and some snacks <laughs> We just checked into the hotel i have my own room which is great here is the bed and then there's like a little wardrobe space and a desk and oh, got some drinks and a kit cat and then we've got a chair and oh, the views are amazing like i'm so glad we have the second to top floor so we have views of london which is amazing i was really hoping we were to get one of the top floors like this is so cool i literally love it tv and mirror and then around here is the bathroom and here's a shower they have hair and body wash okay cool because i didn't bring any and it's actually kind of cold in here as well. I don't see any heat in there. There is like something up on the ceiling, but I kind of feel like it's blowing out cold air though. And it is 12 p.m. now. I need to unpack some of my bag and put it into this other bag I brought because we're going to be going to Covent Garden. I really want to go to Brandy Melville. I've wanted to go there for such a long time. And then we're going to go to the National Art Gallery today as well. So that is a plan for the rest of the day. <music>
it's 4 p.m. I'm back in a hotel room. The lighting in here is so bad. I have to have the lights on because it's so dark in here for some reason. I also went to Brandy Melville. I wanted to go to this shop for such a long time. However, they only had one thing I liked in there. So I think I'm just going to do an online order when I get back. I got this red top here which I really wanted. I really like the colour and I don't really have anything in the colour red actually and I feel like it would suit me as well. Here is a top on. It looks so good especially with these jeans here. I love the colour and it feels like really good quality as well. I'm so devastated they didn't have any of the other clothes I wanted but like I said I can just do an online order plus I can use some of my birthday money as well. <laughs> and look at the tag just sticking out the side but I think I might actually wear this tomorrow. And from the National Gallery, I got some things as well. So I got a bunch of postcards as there was a deal for six for five pounds. So I got the sunflowers, this one of Venice, the execution of Lady Jane Grey, one of Trafalgar Square, but like a one from like the past. And then this one, I think by Monet. And then the lilies. And then I got the sunflower painting as a fridge magnet to put on the fridge at home. It wasn't that hard to navigate around London. My dad had Google Maps up on his phone and we just followed all the street names. And let me tell you, when I was on the London Underground, it's so, so hot in there because obviously you're underground, there's no fresh air, it's actually boiling, it's so humid and everywhere just feels so like dusty. And the trains are really old as well but it is like a really easy way to get around London as well. And back on to how I was saying I was really sad they didn't have any of the clothes I wanted in Brandy. In a way it's kind of a good thing because otherwise I would literally have no space in my bag. But it is so cool having my own hotel room. I feel like this can prepare me for when I go off to university next year of like having my own space and my own bathroom. It's like a little trial run. And I had such an amazing time in the National Art Gallery as well because of I love historical paintings and seeing all of the famous ones was amazing. My favourite, of course, it has to be the execution of Lady Jane Grey. I really wanted to see that painting. I feel so bad for her. She did not deserve to be beheaded. And when I walked in, they were doing like security checks. Like you have to walk through like a metal detector thing and then they had to check my bag. They asked for my age and then they like put this thing in my bag. I don't know why, but I guess for safety reasons. And being in London, I feel so much more comfortable with filming in public because of like people there taking pictures and videos. I see people modeling. I see people like taking photos of themselves and like obviously most people are like tourists and all that. So I feel so much more comfortable filming here than back in my hometown. And they have a spinny chair, so let's go. Okay, that's not very spinny. I'm literally living my best life right now. This is definitely my favourite day of the year so far. I literally have had no favourite days of this year because I haven't done anything within the first three months of this year and I love travelling. Well, I haven't really done much of it but that's what I want to do when I'm older is travel the world and the first thing off my bucket list is London so I'm so glad to be finally doing it because of I love exploring new places I love going to places that isn't my hometown because I don't know anyone it's somewhere different and yeah it's literally amazing I really apologize about the lighting I don't know if that's better or worse but yeah I'm gonna go for dinner soon I'm not sure what I'm going to have I might have pizza I really don't know what they actually sell but I am a fussy eater so I'll probably end up having something like that. Along with the fact I am a vegetarian so that just limits my options even more. And fun fact, I've been one since 2020, like November 2020 so it's been a while. All ready to get dinner now. so good I couldn't finish it also I gave some to my dad along with the chips and the dessert was amazing like the food there is so good and 
I'm so filled up as well, but we're gonna take a walk outside to let our dinner go down. It is starting to get dark outside though as well. almost 9 p.m. and it's time to get ready to have a shower we just got another drink in like bar area because I've only have a little bit of water left in my drinks bottle which I'm going to save because just in case I need it because I don't know if the water in the bathroom is drinkable or not I don't want to risk that plus I'm literally going to be having breakfast in like less than 12 hours anyways I think it's a buffet breakfast as well which is going to be really cool but yeah I've had such an amazing day today it's been so fun my feet are so tired from walking around though but yeah it's actually been amazing like London is full of life and everybody like dresses so cool here as well like it's amazing it's really busy but kind of in a good way because there's just so many people it's so diverse and i guess no one's really worrying about other people really and that's like what i really like about it here like i used to think london was so chaotic but i feel like i'm starting to get used to it now and i'm actually really liking it here but the problem is living in london is like so expensive it's actually crazy i'm all ready to have a shower now and i really thought that i was going to have a bath but no it's just a shower in here okay now i need to work out how to use this shower i'm assuming i just pull this down yep okay that's fine i just had a shower i'm in my pajamas now the dispenser of the shower gel in there did not work i don't know if it was empty or the thing just didn't work or i'm so stupid and can't get it to work but like i'm telling you that just does not work in there. So I was thinking like, what can I use to wash my body with? Because if I don't wash myself with some form of soap, then I'm going to feel so disgusting. So what did I wash my body with? This simple face wash, because I mean like, it's literally soap to clean your face. Practically the same as my body, it's still skin. So I just wash my body with this because I had to do something, <laughs> you know? I was debating on whether to bring mini shower gel or not. I literally can't get enough of the views. It's almost 10 p.m. and I'm going to end the vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed. I've had literally the best day ever. It's been so fun. On Tuesday will be the second one of the London vlog because of next Friday I have another video scheduled which I kind of have to post and I just wanted to get these vlogs out here because of this is such a cool trip so yeah I'll see you on Tuesday for London part two good night